that up. One second. I apologize for that. I was showing both screens. Did not mean to. Much better now. We're just showing the one screen. Fantastic. So what I wanted to talk about today is why there is no free money transactions, either using options or using stock positions, when a special dividend is paid. Many of you might know this. Uh, some of you may have questions about it, but we're going to review it. We're going to try to only take up five or ten minutes of our time going over the discussion on the special dividends. Now, as we mentioned, the situation, a stock is going to pay a one-time dividend. might be a very high dividend. Um, could be maybe one-fifth or one-fourth of the current stock price. And the shareholders on record will receive that special dividend, the dividend payment. Now, there are no free money opportunities. When a special dividend is paid of this type, the stock price is going to be lowered based on the amount of the dividend, and the option prices are going to adjust as well. And the current situation with Options Express, when they announced their dividend on November 29th of $4.50, the stock was trading at about $17.30 at around $17.50. So this is almost one, you know, one quarter, one fifth of the current stock price. So essentially, this is going to be, this is going to be treated just as a almost a four to one or a five to one split uh, on a stock. Now, the specifics of the Options Express dividend, um, the record date to be on hold, uh, to be on record, excuse me, of owning shares of stock is going to be December thirteenth. The one-time dividend payment is four fifty, and the announcement was released on November twenty ninth. When the special dividend is paid, when it's released on the 28th, shares of Options Express are going to adjust. They're going to drop by about 450. Now, the option strike prices are going to adjust as well. So if you were in a position, a covered call, married put, collar spread, bear call credit, bull put credit, calendar spread, for example, uh, using the series that are going to be affected by the dividend, the total position value that you had before the dividend is going to equal your total position value after the dividend. Of course, to take advantage of the dividend, you'd probably want to buy shares of stock. But if we're assuming that the stock price is going to lower, everyone knows that the stock price is going to lower by 450 um, on around December 28th when the dividend's paid, is this a bearish play? Well, not necessarily. If you short the stock, the stock is going to drop $4.50 from the, uh, you know, wherever you shorted it but you're going to have to pay the dividend. If you purchase a put option, expecting the put value to increase as the stock drops, the problem here is the put strike is going to adjust. So if I purchased a put option with a 1750 strike, expecting the stock to drop $4.50 in the near future, and I'd have an intrinsic gain of $4.50 on my put, the problem here is that once the dividend is paid, my 1750 strike is going to adjust to a 13 strike. So I don't have the right anymore to force someone to uh, buy shares of stock at 17 and a half. I now have the right to force someone to buy shares of stock at 13. This is mainly going to affect the January 2011 and February 2011 option series. Well, is it a bullish play then? Well, not necessarily. If we purchase the stock, we're going to be able to receive the dividend when it's paid on December 28th, but the stock price is immediately going to drop $4.50 from the price of where it's at on that day. Now, it can be profitable if we have a lower cost basis than the stock price before the payment date. For example, when the stock, uh, I'm sorry, when Options Express released this announcement on November 29th, the stock was trading at about $17.30 at about $17.50. It closed today at about $19.09, so it's already moved up 8% from when they announced the dividend, 8.6% roughly. Um, so if the stock price is higher from your purchase price when the dividend is paid, that can still be considered a bullish position. It can still be, it's going to be a profitable position, that's true. But you just have to remember that the cost basis is going to adjust by the dividend amount. Now, of course, if you buy a call, the stock's going to drop, uh, the stock's going to drop in price, but the strike price of your call is also going to adjust. Okay, so what's the obvious solution? Well, maybe the obvious solution is a married put position. I buy stock to make sure that I receive the dividend. I have to own stock to receive the dividend. And then I'm going to buy a put to protect against that $4.50 drop in price. Hmm, well, is that going to work? Well, no, because we are going to own the stock. We are going to receive the dividend but the put strike price is going to adjust at that point as well. So the market value 
of my position before the dividend is going to equal the market value after the dividend as well. Let's take a look at a quick example here. The closing prices as of 12-3, uh, as of today, 12-3-2010, I could theoretically go out, buy shares of stock at Options Express for 1909 and buy a January 2011 20 put for about $1.45. So my total investment into the position stock plus put would be $20.54. My guaranteed exit price is $20. I'm able to sell or close my shares of stock at $20 by the insurance policy of the put, so I'm only risking $0.54 cents or 2.3% of the total position. Now, what is the expectation? Well, I've purchased stock, so I'm going to receive the dividend. I bought this put, so I'm going to be able to sell to close my shares of stock at $20 after the dividend is paid. I collect $4.50. Stock drops to fourteen fifty nine, and I sell the stock at twenty. Well, that's not correct because as soon as I receive that four dollar and fifty cent dividend, my twenty strike put is going to adjust to a fifteen fifty strike on December twenty eighth. The purchase price is still a dollar forty five for the put, so I still have a dollar forty five plus my original cost basis into the position. Now what we'd be looking at is stock at about fourteen fifty nine and a strike price of fifteen fifty. So remember the original position cost would be twenty fifty four. After the dividend was paid, what we would see is we'd have long shares of stock trading at fourteen fifty nine. We did have a dollar forty five for the purchase price of the put. So total adjusted stock price where it's trading right now plus my price for the put is sixteen oh four. Now, instead of having a 20 strike, we have a 1550 strike. So our new total at risk is 54 cents. It's the same as it was before. It's the 1604 value minus 1550. Of course, now the value of the position, we have this stock, and we, I'm sorry, we have the stock roughly at 1459. We paid $1.45 for the put. So our new accounting would have us with a cost basis of 1604, and we received the $4.50 dividend. So we still have a market value of roughly twenty fifty four. Now, the trick here is, of course, the put might not be priced at $1.45. We might not be able to liquidate that put for $1.45 as some of the time value would have decayed out of it. Okay, so that's kind of a trick there, too. All right? But the market value stays the same. Once the dividend is paid, it's, it's going to be treated just as uh, one of those ratio splits, for example. The strike prices are going to adjust. And uh, if you have a call or if you have a put, and the stock's going to lower as well. Now, for the January and February 2011 calls and puts on OXPS, after the dividends paid on 1228, here's what we'll see. Um, the existing strike right now, the 1250 call, the 1250 put, is going to adjust to an $8 strike. The $15 strike on the February, January call or put will be adjusted to the 1050. The 17 and a half strike will adjust to a 13. The 20 strike will adjust to a 1550 and the 22 and a half will adjust to an 18 strike. I think there are also some far out June options. I have an expiration of 618 2011 uh, that will also be adjusted as well. Now, this is not a recommendation, a warning, or advice to buy or not buy, to invest in or not to invest in Options Express before or after the special dividend. We just want to make you aware that the options are going to adjust as well. There's no free money opportunities. Um, so, you know, if you're buying a put expecting the stock to drop, your rights and requirements, let's say, of selling that stock or uh, having a 20-strike put after the dividend is paid is going to adjust down to uh, the 1350s, I'm sorry, the 1550-strike uh, put. So it's going to adjust with the stock. So we're not making any recommendations. Um, we want you to do your own research and analysis, decide if Options Express and the special dividend is the right way for you to invest or not to invest. But for all the questions that we had during this week, we just wanted to touch upon the idea 